Hello again. Hayes Q. Jones. Your DVD and Blu-ray ball on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. And before I get started, I'd like to give a, a huge rest in peace to Sir Thomas Sean Connery, the first James Bond. Unfortunately, he passed away this, <clears throat> this weekend at the age of 90. Um, had a full life. He will be greatly missed. But on a more positive note, I'd like to introduce the newest member of the Jones family. We have Shaka. My wife and I too picked up Shaka this past Thursday after he made weight and had his surgical procedures finished up. And Shaka and Shira have been raising the hell all weekend. So nice to have a little companion for Shira. But like you guys know, I like to kind of keep you on your toes, switch up things a little bit. I like to do the same type of video all the time. So I actually had this request probably right before the summer of a laser disc collection. I actually have a sizable laser disc collection. So for you guys who don't know what a laser disc is, just imagine a DVD on steroids, just a, a, a DVD the size of a vinyl LP. I'm gonna show you my collection, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. Welcome back to the Black Cave. Today I wanted to share my Laserdisc collection. I had actually planned on doing that early this summer, but didn't really anticipate the amount of Dollar Tree movie drops they actually had this year, which is a good thing, so I'm not complaining. And just this crazy thing called fucking life, uh, didn't get the opportunity to get around to doing my uh, Laserdisc collection. So let me clear this stuff out, my Criterion Collection and other box sets and behind here, uh, my laser disc, laser disc Collection, and I'll share this with you guys, so give me a minute. This is my complete laser disc Collection. So without further ado, let's get into it and we'll go over these one by one. I'm going to start out with a PBS Video Disc Eyes on the Prize 1, America's Civil Rights Years from 1954 to 1965. And personally, I think this is ultra relevant right now, considering what's going on politically and civil, civ civilly in the United States. So I personally think we are possibly on the cusp of a, another civil re revolution, hopefully for the positive and not for the negative. I guess that will be determined by the next president. <clears throat> and this is a two disc set. And for you youngins out there who aren't really familiar with laser disc and laser disc players, this is natural laser disc. Just think of it as a ultra large DVD or Blu-ray. Close. There we go. Eyes on the prize. The next box set is the Abyss, the special edition. And I know everyone is waiting online along with movies like True Lies, which I, I hear there is a Blu-ray online, but I think that's a bootleg person. I don't know if that's an official James Cameron Blu-ray, but I know a lot of people are waiting for this to hit Blu-ray. But this is the 
laser disc, laser disc version of the Abyss. And this is two double-sided discs. No, excuse me, three double-sided discs. The Abyss Special Edition. Next, <clears throat> next we have Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes and Money Train. And I believe this was their third movie together. I believe they did Wildcats, White Man Can't Jump, and Money Train. So, very fun movie. Uh, Jennifer Lopez had a large role in this, role in this as well as a uh, Beretta. I don't know if you guys remember the old Robert Blake. Uh, I think he was up on murder charges. Didn't he murder his wife or something like that? But, Money Train. Next, I'm waiting to get this at a decent price on Blu-ray. I believe they have it. What's he snipes in Sugar Hill? I believe this is kind of, and this is my opinion, kind of a, a sequel, kind of, to New Jack City. And I forgot this guy's name. I love this guy. He was in uh, The Five Heartbeats. Oh, Eddie Kane. She, she was saying with old Eddie Kane. This is Sugar Hill. And that's uh, Sunshine. I can't think of her real name. She plays Sunshine in um, Harlem Nights. And this is a, it's like a two disc set. Wesley Snipes, Sugar Hill. What's this guy's name? Doesn't bother me. That Leon or Michael Wright? I believe that was Michael Wright. Next, I just mentioned this before, Wesley Snipes and um, Woody Harrelson, White Man Can't Jump. Also, with Rosie Perez, the very sexy Rosie Perez in there. White Man Can't Jump. It's a Fox video. Let me see if you can see. That was Fox video. And Columbia Pictures. Next, I do have this on Blu-ray, I'm pretty sure. Wesley Snipes in Drop Zone. And I believe at the time there was a couple of parachute movies. Uh, I think Charlie Sheen had one. And there might have been one other at the time. But movies kind of go in strange waves like that. Drop Zone. This is not a, a bad movie. It's entertaining. You got Gary Busey in there. It's a Paramount release. And this one disc. <clears throat> Wesley Snipes in Drop Zone. This, I know I have it on Blu ray, HD, excuse me, 4K, and Laserdisc. One of my favorite movies. I'm a sucker for um, Steven Spielberg movies, uh, specifically the sci fi ones E.T., The Extraterr Extraterrestrial. And this is a old MCA home video. This is 1988. E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Next we have Independence Day with Will Smith and Harry Connick Jr. And this is a double disc. You have Jeff Goldblum, Randy Quaid before he lost his goddamn mind and started doing soft porn with his wife on the internet yeah I can't write I can't make this shit up for real um who else is on here that I recognize her from Battlestar Galactica and uh, the Kevin Costner movie Dance with Wolves I believe Oops. Independence Day it's a 20th Century Fox release Next, another favorite favorite movie of mine, Steven Spielberg, Jurassic Park. And again, I have this on Blu-ray, I have it on DVD, I have it on uh, some of his movies, even on 3D. I don't have it on 4K yet. Um, I'm sure if I wait long enough, I can get 4K at probably Blu-ray or maybe even DVD prices. Just it's a matter of being patient and getting the right sale. But you have the, uh, the disc I like on the inside of this 
I love the artwork on laser discs, even though they're big as hell. But you have the same index on the inside. You have the beautiful color pictures. Jurassic Park. This is an MCA Universal release. Next we have Species. I believe I have these on DVD. I'm waiting for it to come out on a Blu-ray set. I don't know if they actually come out on a Blu-ray set. I know individually they're available on Blu-ray. Uh, again, it's one of those things trying to catch at the right price. Uh, Forrest Whitaker. I know him from um, the intro of Indiana Jones. He's also Dr. Octavius in Spider-Man 3. Ben Kingsley. And is that Madsen? I can't think of that the guy's name. Spe yeah, Michael Madsen. Species. Very good sci-fi movie. I'm sure they'll probably be doing a remake of this sometime soon with an MG MGM release. Next we have Lethal Weapon 2. I think I have at least three of these. And these are the old protective case. I'm gonna bother taking it out. When they used to sell them, they used to sell them in cases like this. Lethal Weapon 2 with Danny Glover. So Warner Brother release. Lethal Weapon 3 with Joe Pesci. And who else is it? Who was the love interest back then? I can't think of her name. Renee Russo. Warner Brother release. I, I love how they had, had used to have the widescreen edition. People used to hate widescreen back in the day. Why they have those damn bars at the top of the bottom? Because it's widescreen. They're the ones cut off half the damn movie, but you can't tell people that though. Lethal Weapon 3. And I must not have these in any kind of order, which I'll have to do sometime. Uh, Jackie Brown. I, I don't watch you that often, so that's why they're not in, in the proper order. Uh, Jackie Brown with the ever so sexy um, Pam Greer. You got, I love saying, the motherfucker Samuel L. Jackson. You can't say Samuel Jackson without saying motherfucker. The motherfucker Samuel Jackson, uh, Robert De Niro, um, Robert Forster, and Bridget Fonda. And this was a really good movie. Chris, uh, Chris Tucker also had a small part in here. What? Most of Tarantino's movies are on point. This is just another example. Great gangster movie. Jackie Brown. It's a couple of discs in there. This is a Miramax release. Next, we have a very fun movie. I like it. it is, it's, I like it. Uh, probably because uh, the, the very hot women there in here. Uh, I like Bill Bellamy, fantastic soundtrack. And somehow this got damaged as far as I don't know how this happened though. How to be a player, uh, Def Jam. Very lovely ladies in here. Usually have uh, Lork Voorhees of um, Saved by the Bell. Fortunately, I think she uh, suffers seriously from uh, mental issues though, but very uh, fun movie, How to Be a Player. John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness with Sam Neill. Really like this horror picture. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's scary, scary, but entertaining. Has a nice little creep factor to it, and the the I guess the author of this movie, Sutter Kane, is kind of like a, a Stephen King type, so it also makes the movie even more interesting. And this is a Image Entertainment release, In the Mouth of Madness. Very fun action type picture twister. From the producers of Jurassic Park and the directors of Speed. Um, you have the late uh, Bill Paxson and is that Helen, Helen Hunt. Helen Hunt, before she started looking very old. She did not age very well, but very fun movie, Twister. And it's kind of hard to see the the side view because it's so thin. Twister. This is a Warner Brothers release. 
Next we have Top Gun, Kelly McGillis and Tom Cruise. I'm not sure what all the hype is about Top Gun outside of the great sound effects. It's just an okay movie to me. I only watched it once after having 3D. Maybe I'll watch it again, but Top Gun was just okay to me. I don't know. I'm not sure what all the hype was. Next, we have a rap documentary. Um, got the notorious B.I.G. May rest in peace. The Brat Dre, Salt and Pepper, Fuji's, Tupac, uh, Ice T. It's a it's a nice little two hour mini wrap up of hip hop in order to get I think a really encompassing view of hip hop in the history you have to do something similar to what Netflix did this kind of ongoing documentary on hip hop but for like an hour and a half two hours for the time I really like Rhyme and Reason one of my favorite sci-fi movies of all time I don't know how many times I've watched this I actually I've actually gone to sleep to this movie on times it's at times, for some reason, I sleep two different movies. It just helps, helps me sleep, don't ask why. The special edition of Close Encounters of the Third Kind, another Steven Spielberg picture. I think it's like two discs in there. Just ve a very well done science fiction picture. I think the reason why I like it so well, or so much, is because it's based on ufology lore, UFO lore. Like the uh, the planes that um, left in Florida that uh, that never came back, uh, stuff like that. And there are their own little interpretations of it. So very good movie if you've never seen this. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Next we have Bram Stoker's Dracula, a Francis Ford Coppola film. Very good film. It's a little slow, but probably one of the best Dracula films I've seen as far as. Going back to the author, Bram Stoker. Actually, this is really a love story more than a horror picture. Uh, Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins, and Keanu Reeves. And um, Bram Stoker's Dracula. So I really like this version. I actually like the version Dracula Untold. So that's kind of a, a take on Bram Stoker's also. But as far as my understanding regulation of Dracula, because I haven't read Bram Stoker's version of Dracula. This is probably the closest to the book as far as motion pictures go. Dracula. This, I think, was Billy Zane's last big picture with, with a flop. And I think of the flop just because of the, the, the superhero he picked, the Phantom, Slam Evo. Eh, I never liked the Phantom as a comic strip or as a comic book. It just... I don't know, it's really flat and blah. I don't know if this is what killed his career, but you never, never really saw him as much after this movie. Billy Zion, plus I don't know if losing his hair had anything. To, nah, I don't think so, because you have people like Bruce Willis who either goes all bald or they wear hair pieces, so I can't blame him on the hair. I don't know, something just happened to his career, just flopped. This is The Phantom, and this is a Paramount release. Next we have another Eddie Murphy classic, Trading Places with Dan Aykroyd. This is probably Eddie Murphy at his best, also Dan Aykroyd. You also have the very uh, sexy, I can't think of her name, the Scream Queen, the daughter of the Scream, Scream Queen, Jamie Lee Curtis. There you go, Jamie Lee Curtis. Very funny Christmas holiday movie, Trading Places. And this is a Paramount release. Okay. These are my Star Wars movies. These are the original cut with the original Darth Vader. And I don't know if they're ever, if they're ever gonna release the original on Blu-ray, on Blu-ray opposed to the remastered. I think Blu-ray has enough space that you can actually do the original and the remastered, but I don't know why they are waiting to do that. Probably just waiting so they can actually get people to buy the series again. Idiots like me. But I will still wait until it's a reasonable price. I won't be running out to get it when it comes out. It's Empire Strikes Back.
and you have Return of the Jedi. This right here is old school, old school like lambskin condoms. This is the actual plastic covers for the laser disc. And this is for my Die Hard, Die Hard 1 with Bruce Willis. Beautiful artwork. Inside cover. The CBS Fox release. And Die Hard 2. And of course I have the Blu-ray set. I'm assuming pretty soon you'll probably be seeing this come out on 4K also. And I don't know, uh, I saw some kind of rumblings about another Die Hard movie. Was it Die Hard 105, something like that? I don't know, I lost track. But the CBS Die Hard, CBS box with the old school plastic cover. Very funny, funny movie. I just got this last year on Blu-ray. John Lovitz, uh, Mackay Pfeiffer, High School High. Fantastic soundtrack. Um, if you like John Lovitz, you, you'll like this movie. If you don't like John Lovitz, you'll probably think it's very corny. Uh, forgot his name. What is his name? That's Mackay Pfeiffer. And a little escaping right now. But very funny movie, High School High. And this is a TriStar Columbia release. You have the classic Eddie Murphy 48 Hours with Nick Nolte. This is a Paramount release. And of course I have another 48 Hours with Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. And another Paramount release. Arguably, arguably one of Chris Tucker's funniest movies. Chris Tucker, Charlie Sheen, Money Talks. This is a Image Entertainment New Line Cinema release. On the other end, arguably one of Martin, Martin Lawrence's flop movies. It was just a weird combination. Martin Lawrence and Tim Robbins, nothing to lose. And this was, who was this? The Touch Tone release. And I, I remember very little about this. Nothing to lose. I know I have it on DVD. I don't think I have it on Blu-ray. I'm not sure if this is available on Blu-ray. Nothing to lose. Next, we have very cool soundtrack. It's actually a double disc soundtrack. You got people like The Biz on there, Black Moon. Uh, it's a Nick Gomez movie, a movie about stealing cars in New Jersey, New Jersey Drive. I have to check to see, I doubt very ser seriously this is on Blu-ray, but I would love to hear the soundtrack if it, if it is, New Jersey Drive. One of Eddie Murphy's kind of less popular movies, The Distinguished Gentleman, basically about politics and him going to... Uh, to Congress and getting his hustle on, which again is more than relevant what's going on right now with the election going on next week. Eddie Murphy, who else is in here that I recognize offhand? Charles Dunn from Rock. And Cheryl Lee Ralph. The Distinguished Gentleman, Eddie Murphy. On the Eddie Murphy tip, Eddie, uh, Beverly Hills Cops 3. Probably the, the least, my least favorite uh, out of Beverly Hills Cop. I love 1 and 2. 3 just really seemed forced. I know they've been kicking around on Beverly Hills Cop 4 for decades now. I don't know if that will ever happen. Maybe with the uh, sequel to come to America, maybe there will be another Beverly Hills Cop. <clears throat> One of my favorite Eddie Murphy movies along, along with Boomerang, Harlem Nights with a star-studded cast, Richard Pryor, um, 
Della Reese, um, the late great uh, Rick Fox, Jasmine Guy, just a fantastic, Danny Aiello, a fantastic movie, Harlem Nights. Next, another offbeat kind of quirky movie, Damien Wayans and Blank Man. And is this one's Robin Givens? Yeah, Robin Givens. No comment. <laughs> Damien Wayans and Blank Man. Next, I would say probably this is when both Stallone and Wesley Snipes were pretty much at the peak of their careers. Uh, Demolition Man, great futuristic film. And this is a Warner Brothers release. Next we have another Brother Snipes pimp film, Always Bet on Black, Passenger 57. Very fun, hijacking type movie. Love her. I know her name. Passenger 57. Love this movie. I think this is a hilarious movie. My, arguably, in my opinion, one of his funny, funniest movies. Damon Wayans and Major Payne. Uh, you have a young Scott Bakula back there. And these other guys, I don't know if anything ever happened to them. And... Was she on the Fresh Prince, I believe? Her career didn't go anywhere either, though, but hilarious movie, Major Pain. Another Damon Wayans movie with Bruce Willis, The Last Boy Scout. Very fun kind of crime action thriller. Warner Brother release, The Last Boy Scout. The Incredibly True Adventures of Two Girls in Love is the first time for everything. Um, basically a lesbian coming of age story. Uh, cute pictures, comedy, fantastic soundtrack, quirky, eclectic soundtrack. Uh, if you haven't seen this, I don't know if you can actually get this. I'm sure it's on DVD somewhere. Very cute, um, again, coming of age picture. The Incredibly True Adventures of Two Girls in Love. On the other end of the other end of the spectrum, not such a great movie. Bullworth with Warren Beatty and Halle Berry. Why they thought Beatty, Warren Beatty rapping was a good idea, I have no idea. Not a great movie. It's actually so bad it's worth watching to see how bad it is. But you have Don Cheeto, Halle Berry, and Warren Beatty and Bullworth. A 20th Century Fox release. Police. Next, you have an action picture, uh, a trucker action picture with the late Patrick Swayze and Meatloaf a day. And I believe he's like a country singer, was a country singer. Black Dog from the directors of Passenger 57. Decent um, action picture, universal release. We have the classic Blues Brothers, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, with the film that made both of them legends, famous, fantastic soundtrack, uh, great cameos from James Brown, the late James Brown, the late Aretha Franklin, uh, very funny picture, the Blues Brothers. Very strange movie, A Boy and His Dog, a futuristic film uh, with Don Johnson talking to a dog and uh, I'm trying to put it nicely, basically guys just raping women. This is very strange. I should watch this on the plane and the first 10 minutes I'm like, wow, this is different. <laughs> a Boy and His Dog. Next, we have another James Cameron classic. Everyone's waiting for a official Blu-ray release. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jamie Lee Curtis, and I believe it's Eliza Dushku. I believe that's her as a kid. True Lies. Oh, 
Wow, I haven't seen this in years. This is when HC3 first came out. THX, HC3, that's when all that stuff was relatively new. new. True Lies. We have Batman Forever with eh, probably one of my least favorite Batmans. Batman, I should say. Uh, Val Kilmer, Michael Keaton, uh, George Clooney. I uh, thought they were horrible Batman. And thus, the Batman movies were just okay to me. I think that the best Batman so far has been Christian Bale. Batman Forever. <clears throat> then you have Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan and the first installment of the trilogy Rush Hour which was probably the best I think they uh, started each movie going down a little bit as far as how funny they were entertaining but this was the best out of the three Rush Hour we have some classic Sean Connery Outland Excellent sci-fi movie, especially for its time. Warner Brothers release. And who produced this? Who directed this? Peter Himes. Sean Connery and Peter Boyle. Outland. <clears throat> Here, I actually have a, not a music DVD, but a music laser disc. In Vogue, Born to Sing. Yeah, the you don't have to worry, don't go, lies, hold down. Very sexy group. Matter of fact, they're still sexy. I think I saw something on, on Zoom this year and they still got it going on. In Vogue. James Marston, Katie Holmes, and Nick Stahl. Disturbing behavior. And I have this on Blu-ray also. Early Katie Holmes before Jamie Foxx and before um, Tom Cruise. Disturbing behavior. This is something that actually came with the Laserdisc. I actually have, believe it or not, two Laserdisc players. Um, one I got used, the other one I bought new, and this came with a new one. And I have never karaoke before. I actually have a pretty good ear for music, so good that I know I can't carry a tune even if it had handles on it. So I don't sing, so I've never used it. I think I might've heard a couple of these songs, though, but this is the karaoke thing for Laserdisc. On the music tip, I have Listen Up, The Lives of Quincy Jones. Um, this was like a movie soundtrack. It has some fantastic cuts on here. You got Dizzy Gillespie, Ice-T, um, I believe uh, Big Daddy Kane's on here, Tevin Campbell. I believe Tevin Campbell's on here, so fantastic soundtrack. Listen up, The Lives of Quincy Jones. Next in the music tip, introducing the Hardline, Terrence Trent Darby Live. It's an image release, CMV Enterprise. What was this last one? That was the Warner Brothers on that, Quincy Jones. The soundtrack. The ones I used to love, Seven More Days, Rain, uh, Sign Your Name, Wishing Well, Who's Loving You, Dance Little Sister, fantastic soundtrack. Unfortunately, his uh, follow-up album didn't do well. He just kind of fell into obscurity. Terrence Trent Darby. Winton Marcellus, Blues and Swing. I do like, like jazz. I have a limited jazz collection on the music tip. Uh, Mostly Miles Davis, Little Coltrane, uh, Stan Getz, and some other. I'm, I'm really not that well versed as far as jazz artists. I just like what I like. So, probably as I get older, I like to expand on my music jazz collection. But this is when Marcellus laser disc. I have the Lion King on laser disc DVD. Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D and even live animation with Beyonce. This is the Laserdisc version of The Lion King. 
this, I forgot to look this up. I want to see if this actually is on DVD or something else. I think it might only be available on Laserdisc. Laserdisc Cosmic Slop. Uh, this is created by the fantastic uh, Reginald Hutland, half the brother, half of the Hutland brothers who did American Pimp. Um, uh, I think they also did. Uh, forgive me from the Boondocks. I think as far as directing or, or directing, I'm not positive though. Very funny. I think it's like three or four different several sto three or four different stories. The most interesting story to me is a story where aliens come to Earth and they promise Earth all this great technology, the cure to every kind of sickness, with one little caveat. They have to give up all the black people. All the black people have to go into these spaceships and go away from Earth to some unknown destiny. That's one of the stories. A very interesting laser disc, Cosmic Slop. Richard Pryor live in concert, arguably one of his greatest stand-up uh, pieces of work, possibly one of the greatest stand-ups uh, albums ever. Um, Richard Pryor is just an, an icon in the comedy. Uh, I believe people like Dave Chappelle, I know people like Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, Eddie Murphy, a lot of, have modeled their comedy after him. Uh, he's more than just a comedian, he was a storyteller, a legend. Richard Pryor, live in concert, may he rest in power. This, one of my favorite documentaries, I think it's one of the last documentaries Big did. Uh, the show, this is Russell Simmons Presents, and they have some of the best lines in this movie. I know Corrupt has this line talking about uh, people talking about that whoopty whoop about they can give the dog pound, I'll serve them off the top. And that's a, 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 a loose, loose um, rendition of, of, of Corrupt. Um, great documentary, the show. Menace to Society. Uh, who directed this? Is this the Helen Brothers? The Hughes Brothers. The Hughes Brothers. I'll get the Hughes Brothers and the Helen Brothers mix, uh, mixed up. Uh, one of my favorite kind of urban drama pictures. Um, Lorenz Tate. Um, I keep forgetting this guy's name. Uh, what is his name? Kane. What's Kane's name? Tyron, Tur Tyron Turner. You have uh, Jada Pinkett before she was married to Will Smith, Lorenz Tate, I know The Rock is in here, Bill Duke, Charles S. Dutton. So fantastic uh, kind of urban picture by the Hughes Brothers, Minister Society. Just talked about this uh, a few weeks ago. I just got this on Blu-ray, uh, kind of went on about Angela Bassett. I'll try to contain myself today. Uh, Vampire in Brooklyn. Uh, love this uh, Eddie Murphy. Wes Craven collaboration, Vampire in Brooklyn on Laserdisc, and rounding the end of one of my favorite Spike Lee's movies, She's Gotta Have It, the Criterion Collection on Laserdisc, fantastic soundtrack, I think I have that on, on cassette tape, his father did the soundtrack, Bill Lee, he also had his sister, Jua Lee, uh, have a, a role in this, and I believe uh, Camilla Jones was a star, great movie if you haven't seen it. Definitely pick it up. Have to warn you if you have something that's black and white. 95% of the movies in black and white. He has one little scene that's all in color. So very kind of artsy fartsy movie. She's got to have it. And lastly, one of my favorite Eddie Murphy movies. I think when I saw this, after I saw this, I was probably somewhere in my 20s. I wanted to be Marcus Graham for a while. Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Robin Givens. Halle Berry, the late uh, John Witherspoon, um, David Allen Greer, Martin Lawrence, just a fantastic movie, Boomerang. And this sums up my Laserdisc collection. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me, taking a look at my old school Laserdisc collection. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It doesn't cost, doesn't hurt. Hit the notification bell. Every week I try to drop a new video. I'd like to change it up a little bit. Next week I'll probably go back to some pickup videos, what I've picked up either out on the streets or online. Um, again, like, share, uh, subscribe. 
If nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, be the best of your past, be the worst of your future. Peace.